All right, guys, the next thing I want to show you is how to turn this into something called a master page so that later on, if I want to use this format over and over again, but maybe I want to switch things like the pictures out, but I need things to be consistently the same over and over again. All right, so if you're in typography, this pages panel will be here in the upper corner. I'm going to drag by left clicking holding. Remember, it's not a big thing. I can always reset it. So pages is the panel that it's going to allow me to create something called a master page. I like this a lot because it's going to show you every page in your document. Unlike Photoshop where you just have one document, uh, Adobe Illustrator is a little bit better because you can have multiple artboards. Um, but I feel like this is better for getting an overall view and that's why I use Adobe InDesign. So what I want to do is I want to take this page right here I want to turn it into something that will be consistently the same. And in book and in magazine um, design, we use master pages all the time. So I'm going to left click and hold, and I'm just going to drag it into where it says A master, and then boom. If I, It's automatically going to create a master based off of this page right here. So if I left click on this in the uh, master section of it, I now see, and I can click on it and I can edit things. So maybe and see this is the power of master pages I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna take this I'm gonna drag it down and I'm gonna make multiple copies of this okay so why are master pages great say you if you have a multiple page document and you're like I have this information and it's not just on one page it's on 50 pages nobody wants to go in and hand type on each page like those changes so a master page allows you to go back to this page and say what if my email address is wrong what if the year so I'm gonna use the T for type I know that I'm like I said you have to select it to affect it. if it's blue you're selecting it I'm on the B master and then when that's highlighted blue I can go in and I can change the year so maybe it's maybe I want to go back to 2020 maybe because there's a less than a week left <laughs> you know or maybe I don't want my email address and I want to delete that out look at that those master pages have changed okay so why did this not change see what the letter is at the top a a is this master page there's nothing on a so that's why it didn't change this says B because I dragged this down and I was using the B master pages so it changed on B I'm gonna delete this out I don't want it anymore I just hit the trash can at the bottom and then hit OK it removes that master page but if I want to drag that back down see it's gonna have that information and if I want to go back to it so once again I want to make changes to that master I'm just gonna double click on the B in the pages panel and then I do want to change this to 2021 so I just put it here right I'm going to go back to my selection tool. Now I'm going to go back to my master page. Oh, look at that. It's changed on every single one. So changes like that are great because then it allows you to affect multiple pages because there are certain things that you're just not going to change very often. But like you want it to be in the same place. You want it to be the same font and you don't want to have to go in and type everything. So that's one of the big reasons for master pages. Okay, so say I want to name this master page. So if I right click on it, I can get my master options for B. So I'm going to click on this and then I want to name it, you know, cover because it's the cover of my portfolio. It's based on a number of pages is one. So if I want to, I could set it to none. If I don't want it, I could set it to none. And actually, I think I want to do it to none. All right, there. Boom. So now there's none and then it's a separate. It's no longer tied to master a which actually I would prefer okay so now you've seen kind of the power of master pages I'll show you one more page setup um, for this portfolio tutorial so you can see like how I would place maybe one single image as like kind of the main image and maybe a another text box with some details about it um, and then I still need to show you how to export it as a PDF and how to package it so we're almost done